Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, take a foul right off the glass. Ah. All right. Um, look, hit the like button if you guys agree with my opinions. If you don't, leave me some comments below. And um, feels good to be back. It feels good to have a clear head and do these videos how I was doing them before, just with, with no pressure. You know, I'm chilling, not a lot of money on the line, giving you a legitimate opinion, and it actually goes against what you'll see all over the internet. A lot of people are going to be telling you underdog this, underdog that, this statistic, that statistic, this is 30-0-1 in the last 10, and this is... You know, Florida Atlantic is 10-9-1 in their last Saturday games played in the month of March. Or like some bullshit statistic. It's a bunch of fucking garbage. Where's my paper? Here's my paper. Uh, I had to take a big break from videos, um, as you guys know. Or maybe you don't know if you're new to the channel today. If that happens to be true, hit the subscribe button. But um, yeah, for those of you that know, uh, I had to take a break here. Had a cold streak. Um, was losing money. Everything was just kind of going south. And I was getting frustrated because aside from my own bankroll, I was like, you know, hundreds of people are watching these videos and I'm giving out wrong picks. People are losing money because of the stuff I'm putting out while I'm on a cold streak, while I'm not thinking correctly, while this and while that. I had to stop. I had to stop, get my bearings right, get back to how I was thinking at the end of football season and at the beginning and middle of college basketball when we were crushing it, hitting almost 80% of our wagers. You can look back through the videos. So with that being said, we're at the final four. We got two teams and... Uh, you know, I have no pressure at this point in time. I feel zero pressure. Um, I've made my money back. I've had a, a, a great couple of weeks here. You guys can see the bet slips right on the screen. Um, no pressure. I'm going to give out the final four picks and the championship pick. Just thinking clearly. I, I don't have much money here. Uh, I put a little bit of money on these games. It's almost just like entertainment money. Just have a little skin in the game. A little bit funner to watch. Um, but I've made my money back over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm sorry that Again, when I'm back on my normal 80%, 70% winning style, um, I didn't have the videos out. But it was important just to get my mind right. So I hope you can respect that. And uh, I got some winners to end the season here. And I think I'm going to do NBA playoffs. I never do NBA regular season. It's just too rigged. But the playoffs did pretty well last year, considering doing it this year. If you guys want to see videos on the NBA playoffs, let me know in the comments. Um, Florida Atlantic. Point and a half underdog. Miami, five and a half point underdog. And uh, I think both lines are too light. Yeah, I like both favorites here. It's been an unbelievable uh, March Madness for the underdogs. In fact, the people that have been out here doing $100 on every single money line underdog are extremely profitable at this point in time. I actually wish I did that myself. I was considering it. Um, definitely takes a big bankroll and a lot of risk, but man... That style of just taking the underdogs this year has crushed it. Unfortunately, uh, there will not be another underdog winner in this March Madness tournament. Both favorites cover this weekend, and the favorite will cover in the championship game, regardless if it is, it's going to be UConn. Let's, let's, guys, guys, the, the chaos is over. UConn's taking this thing. Here's why. Texas. Uh, did not have debatably their best inside offensive presence in Dylan DeSue. If they had him, they would have cruised to about a 20 or maybe a 25-point victory instead. They just kind of treaded water, just hung out with a 13-14 point lead, and then had an absolute meltdown, a choke job, uh, a, a lack of good coaching. By the way, I don't think that guy should be the head coach. He was an interim coach. I feel bad for Chris Beard. If Chris Beard was still coaching the team, Texas would not have lost to Miami. I don't think that coach is very good at all. I think he basically just rode the wave of Texas having some talent. I think that coach sucks, but that's besides the point. Complete meltdown by Texas. Miami did not win that game. Texas lost that game. There is a huge difference. I don't care what you guys think. Um, in fact, if you guys are Miami fans, let me know in the comments that I'm wrong. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think Miami was the better team and that Texas was kind of just getting away with murder for 32 of the 40 minutes. Um, look, UConn's way better than Texas. They're bigger. They're going to out-rebound. They got better shooters on the outside. Rice and Carr, Hunter, Hunter's trash, came over from Iowa State. Those guys, they hit some shots here and there. I don't think they're that impressive. I think the UConn roster, I think the UConn coaching, I think the attention to detail, I think every category is much, much better for UConn than Texas. Texas was comfortably 
just hanging out with a double-digit lead, like I said, for an overwhelming majority of that game. UConn is a team that does not choke. They will not go away. Hurley is a maniac. Do you see him on the sideline? They could be up 20, and if someone makes a mistake, you're going to hear about it. They are not going to choke away the lead. Miami is here on a free pass. They're on borrowed time. They're way farther than they should be. They're not that good. They played in a weak conference. UConn is substantially better, and I think the line at 5.5 it's just to kind of maybe pe- pe- have people think twice about it. I don't I don't think they want it to be like seven and a half or eight and a half where it should be. I think they want to keep it at like five and a half. Maybe the, the odds makers actually drop it to four and a half to try to entice some people thinking like Miami's the move. Miami's the move. I'm going to sprinkle the money line too. Miami. Miami's trash. Miami's trash. UConn has too much length. Uh, their fundamentals are too good. And uh, it's just a team on a mission, right? And now they really, really have a stage. Uh, the championship's theirs. It's theirs to lose. They're not gonna. They're not gonna fumble the bag. UConn minus the five and a half is free money. I already put money on that. And then the Florida Atlantic, San Diego State team is a little bit of a harder matchup to predict. But overall, I think. The experience, having the older players, having the better defense, and having gone through better teams is all you need to know. We're only laying a point and a half. I'm going to take the favorite again. I think the line at being one and a, being at one and a half, again, I think people are going to be still stuck to this underdog crap. You're the underdog, this and that, like Florida Atlantic, keep doubting us, keep doubting us. You guys got so lucky. Kansas State played one of the worst games I've ever seen. Horrible shot. I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to go over this. I'm not going to do it. Not going to go on a five minute rant. Kansas State should have blown Florida Atlantic off the earth. That's neither here and there. We're talking about Florida Atlantic at this point in time. They're gonna. I. I just. I can't see it. I can't see it. I think they're going to get out rebounded. Um, I don't think they're tough enough. The players are super young. Maybe they they get a little tight and a little nervous now that the stage is huge. I think the San Diego State team uh, is just a little more battle tested. They've gone through better teams, like I said, and uh, with a small spread, I will gladly lay the one and a half points. So I got money on FAU or F uh, San Diego State. I got money on UConn, and I actually did a small little bit of money. On both, together, a parlay, both favorites. It seems too good to be true, and I think people are going to actually be kind of falling for the trap that like it's the year the underdog and all the chaos is going to continue and blah, blah, blah. It's over. Favorites from here on out should be sweat-free. Um, so there's my picks for the final four, like both favorites in this one. And I love UConn to win it all, even though the line's going to be heavy. I think UConn will probably be favored about... Six and a half, seven and a half over San Diego State. San Diego State's the harder matchup for UConn. If if FAU somehow upsets um, San Diego State, I think I will be dropping a nuclear bomb on UConn against FAU. I think UConn would be FAU in the in the final by th- by thirty. But San Diego State's pretty big. They rebound. They're tough. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll have to we'll have to think about it when we get there. Both favorites, and uh, I'll see you guys with the prediction for the. The championship game. See you then.